Here we go. Oh, yes. We're back. Podcasting for fun and profit. How you doing? I'm your host, Leighton Hart. Really nice to be here with you today. If you're listening to the podcast version of this, I record this on Wednesdays, post them on Thursdays. So if you're listening on a Thursday, happy Thursday. You're almost to the weekend. <laughs> you're so close. I got home from taking my son to an activity last night, and it was a Tuesday night. I was like, surely tomorrow's Friday, right? We'll make it together. Hey, today we are talking about the secret to becoming a top podcaster. That's a cool topic, right? Everybody wants to be a top podcaster. I do. <laughs> I hope someday I'll get there. Secret to becoming a top podcaster. Here's one that I found. There's probably multiple ways to become a top podcaster. Here's one I found. It was really, really interesting. So in the podcasting world, few headlines make a bigger buzz than this one. Everybody likes to recite the stat that Apple Podcasts now lists more than 2 million podcasts in its directory. So if you're just getting started as a podcaster, that's a little overwhelming, right? You look around, you go, there's 2 million podcasts already. What am I going to say that is new or original or different or whatever? How am I supposed to get noticed in a crowd of 2 million other podcasters? And if that's you, take heart. It's okay. Because all is not as it seems with those numbers. That 2 million podcast number, there's more behind that that we need to talk about. When you dig beneath the, the surface of Apple statistics, I believe a, a roadmap for success as a podcaster emerges, and that's what we're here to talk about today. So I have posted on podcastingforfunandprofit.com an infographic that a company called Amplify Media did. Amplify Media took a deep dive into Apple's numbers and published this infographic that really tells the story of what's going on with the number of podcasts being produced. Now, yes, we're talking about an infographic, but you don't really need to be able to see it uh, for the purpose of what we're doing today, because I'll walk you through the numbers and I'll give you the key takeaways here. So a few takeaways from this infographic that, that I learned. Number one is that the explosion in podcasting is absolutely real. And how I know that is because when I started my podcasting studio, Market Street Media, in early 2020, the going number was that there were about 800,000 podcasts listed in Apple Podcasts. Now, that's just over a year ago. And that number has grown from 800,000 to 2 million. So despite, or maybe it's perhaps because of a world turned upside down by COVID-19, hordes of people picked up a mic and hit record during the last year. There are many, many more podcasts that got started during 2020. The second takeaway from this Amplify Media infographic in this deep dive into the statistics is that not everyone falls in love with podcasting. So of all the podcasts listed in Apple Podcasts, 26%, a quarter of the podcasts, have published only one episode. A quarter have published only one episode. So they got started and then quit or just never got another episode published. Now, I don't have any info about why creating such a, a second episode is such a hurdle, but I would speculate that people either find one of about four things. Number one, that creating a large volume of content is really tough. Or perhaps number two, dealing with equipment, microphones, the sound mixers, the computer, the software, all of that stuff, I'll bet people find that is tricky, trickier than they expected, and they don't want to fool with it. Number three, another reason people may start one episode and then never get to the, the second episode is that preparation and post-production may take more time than people expected. So they thought it was going to be, I'm going to fire up a mic, I know how to use a mic, and I'm going to sit down and I'm going to record this show and bing, boom, bam, it's going to be awesome. 
and people realize that that there's some preparation that needs to go into the show if it's going to be a good show and there's some production on the backside that needs to go in to make it sound good and get distributed to all the right places and all that the fourth reason and and i want i don't want this to be taken the wrong way the fourth reason is that i'll bet people find out that they don't sound as cool as they thought they would and listen i'm not judging when i say i'll bet people don't sound as cool as they thought they would because when i got started i learned a lot about myself one of the things that i learned dear listener was that i don't sound as cool as i thought i would so it took a lot of practice to uh, in in learning how i work best to figure out what works for me how i'm able to put across the best show possible and one of those things that that, that i learned about myself was that i do better with a script we talked about that on the last episode so go back and check that out about the power of scripting your episodes now that feeling of hey, I don't sound as good as I thought I would, there's a certain irony to that. And here's the irony. The way to sound better and to get better is to make more episodes, but many people don't make more episodes because they don't sound better. So it's this weird negative feedback loop that you know what you need to do is make more so that you can get more repetitions, but you're scared because you don't sound good and you don't want to make more. So you don't want to do the things to get better. It's ironic. It's not Alanis Morissette ironic. It's not traffic jam when you're already late ironic. It's not no smoking sign on your cigarette break ironic. But it's ironic, friends. Third, when I look at the statistics that Amplify Media has put together, there's a clear path to success as a podcaster that to me becomes crystal clear when I look at the infographic. And here's what it is. To rise to the top of the podcasting game, keep publishing. I'll say that again. To rise to the top of the podcasting game, keep publishing. Only a third of the podcasts in Apple Podcasts have more than 10 episodes. <laughs> I, I hate to just like keep repeating things at you, but, but I want that to sink in. Only a third of the podcasts in Apple Podcasts have more than 10 episodes. So like so many other worthy pursuits, Building a successful podcast is simply a matter of showing up consistently and doing the work. Because if you can last a while, everybody else is going to quit. It's only going to be you and the other committed great podcasters out there. Fourth, the fourth takeaway, when I look at these, uh, this information, this deep dive into Apple Podcast statistics, is that when I see that only a third of the podcasts have more than 10 episodes published, I'm just flooded with pride for my clients here at Market Street Media. The people who come in here and create a podcast for their business or, or as a hobby, most of them, I guess, are, are business podcasts now. I'm just flooded with pride with, with what these people have been able to do. So I opened this studio in early 2020, I mentioned, and here's how our creators are doing. Craig Charles has published 42 episodes of Barber College Success. He doesn't, he doesn't miss, like he's here every week with new guests, new panelists, making new content. It's extraordinary. The guy doesn't miss. Krista Wright has published 20 episodes of her show, All Points Whole. And I think we talked about on one, ep on one episode of this podcast that, that she recently went through, we talked together kind of a transformation or a pivot of her podcast. She started out doing what a lot of us start out doing, interview show, let's talk about the topic of the day with a guest. And then we really home, homed in, homed, honed, homed, we focused on her unique personality and, and the gifts that she has. And now she does this super cool, it's so cool. She does a guided meditation in here. No guest, we just, we dim the lights in the room, we put on some cool music and she does a guided meditation and it is so cool. So check out All Points Whole. Dr. Becky Powers and Josh Smith, their podcast, Doing Good, they published 18 episodes. Their 19th episode comes out tomorrow. They're killing it. They're doing great. Brad Weems, his podcast, Better Every Day, 28 episodes. He was in here this morning recording his 29th. Kelly Ray, when she had her podcast, she's her life changed a little bit, and she moved on to, to do some other things. She's traveling more, and getting into the studio was was just not something that she could manage in her, you know, she when she kind of looked at her priorities. She's published 37 episodes of One Conversation at a Time. 
it was a really cool show. It was a great cool season for us, cool season for her. Really glad that we got to work on that. Christina Delaney, her podcast, We See You Mama, a cherished mom care cast, has published 17 episodes. So proud of Christina. And Ryan McKinney has published 38 episodes of Johnson City Small Business. So, so cool. All these podcasters, I'm just so proud because, like I said, most people don't get past one episode. Most people fire up Apple Podcasts and, and get, cl get clipped by the first episode. And making it across the 10-episode line is a really big deal. So here's the message for you. If you look at the number of, app, of podcasts in Apple Podcasts and get intimidated, please, please, please think again. There's plenty of room for you. Promise. Show up. Make your show. Try to get a little bit better with every episode. And don't quit. Before you know it, you'll have a show that you and your listeners love. That's it for this week. I'm Leighton Hart. This is Podcasting for Fun and Profit. We'll see you next time.